Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 16th of 2021. Well, it is titled North America and the Pelican. So what do we see here? Well, here are a couple of nebulae in a relatively nearby star forming region. And on the left hand side, we have what is known as the North America Nebula. And it resembles vaguely North America from Canada, United States and down in through Mexico. So the kind of dark patch sticking up is meant to represent the Gulf of Mexico with Florida sticking down on the one side and then Mexico going down on the other and the rest would be representing the rest of the uh, North America between the United States and Canada. On the right, there is the Pelican Nebula which if you look at it carefully may resemble a little bit a pelican to you. And these are again parts of a star forming region and they are what we call emission nebulae. Now an emission nebula occurs when radiation from hot stars excites atoms and causes them to glow. And essentially what it does is strip electrons off of those atoms. And when those electrons recombine with the atoms, they then cascade through various energy levels, giving off different photons of light. And some of those happen to be in the visible portion of the spectrum that allows us to see these glowing. So if we could de look in detail at the light coming from these areas, we would then see just very specific wavelengths. And in fact, this is what we call a narrow band image which means that it is looking only at specific wavelengths of light. A broadband image is what we're used to thinking of when you just take a picture, you're looking at all of the wavelengths of light at once. Here we're looking at just emission from three specific atoms, hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen. And that allows us to see some very fine detail with in here. And you can see some of the different shock waves and areas that are moving around as uh, stars continue to excite and then eat away at this nebula. So as stars have formed, their intense radiation and stellar winds will then push away the material and reshape these nebulae into other uh, other shapes. So they will no longer look the same, although it will take many thousands and thousands of years for this to change. So the nebulae do not change over an individual lifetime, but over many thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of years, as new stars form, we will begin to see different shapes appear in the regions that we're looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for September 16th of 2021. It was titled North America and the Pelican. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Lynn's Dark Nebula. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.